Hey everyone, this is Aishwarya and welcome to Beauty with Code. So guys, we discussed a lot about placement without coding, isn't it? And somewhere I felt many of you must be loving coding and they are going to kill me for sure for making same kind of video again and again. So in this video, we are going to discuss about a drive where there is no aptitude round. So placement without aptitude. Yes, good title it is. So yes, we are going to discuss about TCS Code Vita. You must be knowing about it. I mean, who doesn't know uh, when it comes to TCS drives, no matter whether it's NQT or uh, Code Vita or anything, we all are super excited and like it's quite natural. If not best, then uh, one of the best service based company in India is um, TCS. So yes, it's okay. It's like quite normal to be excited about TCS drives. So today we are going to discuss about TCS Code Vita. Okay, so let's talk about eligibility criteria first so at least 60 percent in 10th at least 60 percent in 12th at least 60 percent in graduation up to pre-final year and apart from these you are allowed to have one active backlog i mean it's not like that if you don't have uh, any ap active backlog then you are not allowed no it's not like they'll never say we are not accepting people with no active backlog I mean, you are allowed to have at most one active backlog. If you don't have active backlog, they are very happy. They are very happy. They are not going to ask why don't you have any backlog or something. Okay. So yes, these are the eligibility criteria. At least 60% in 10th, at least 60% in 12th, at least 60% in graduation up to pre-final year. Apart from these, you are allowed to have one active backlog. One more thing guys, I want to add study gap can can be there and it uh, should be maximum of two years okay so maximum two years of ex, uh, of study gap is allowed after that no okay so these are the few things which uh, we should discuss okay so yes uh, i hope you are now clear with the eligibility criteria and all and you are uh, like you already know there is no aptitude round so you must be excited about knowing its rounds isn't it so first round is going to be very exciting because it's going to be a coding round for which you don't need to visit to any particular venue just open your laptop log into that portal using your email id and password whatever it is okay and after that just start coding just start coding that's it okay and one more thing guys tabs can be changed uh, and like it's kind of hint you already understood okay so yes tabs can be changed there is no webcam okay so this portal is going to be active for 24 hours after that no okay so yes this portal is going to be active for only 24 hours and now it's up to you you can use any six hour window okay you can start coding from like um let's say six in the morning till 12 till 12 in afternoon okay so it's kind of this so you can choose any six hour window according to your choice according to your convenience or anything okay so yes, it's up to you. You can choose any six hour window. So yes, this was something we should discuss, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, this is the first round. And if you uh, solve uh, problems like, uh, I'm not sure about this time because like no one will say what is going to be the cutoff. Why I'm saying this because of this pandemic situation. But before that, I mean, till last year, if you solved at least one question, at least one question completely, then you are you will be called for interview directly. OK, so you will be called for uh, interview. Yeah, you will be called for interview if you have solved one questions completely. But I'm not sure about this time. But yes, cutoff may be of like um, one question, two question or maybe three question, not more than that isn't it so yeah something like this only so yes this is the thing which i wanted to share after that let's say you got selection mail after that you will be called for interview in any tcs uh, um, office okay so when you will be there in mail so you have to visit there and then there uh, will be technical as well as hr round okay so in technical round they are going to ask questions from resume they are going to ask some questions which uh, you haven't mentioned in uh, resume i mean they will uh, definitely ask questions from where they uh, wherever they want they will ask question mostly from data structure algorithm dbms um, operating system and computer networks and yeah software engineering so these six subjects 
are like their main focus but they can ask questions from anything anything when it comes to tcs interview you cannot predict at all so make sure you complete these uh, like and mostly from data structure algorithm and dbms so make sure you are very good with these three subjects and uh, like you know something about data uh, about uh, sorry operating system something about uh, like software engineering and uh, computer networks just give your best nothing else you cannot do anything more than this so just make sure you are doing your best okay and if you and after like uh, this uh, technical interview you will be called for hr round okay and hr round they will ask questions like uh, why should we hire you tell me something about yourself your strength your weakness or uh, these kind of things okay so they will ask these kind of like uh, world famous hr questions <laughs> nothing more than that so like make sure you are prepared with these questions too and if you get selected you will be uh, get, uh, you will be getting mail within like 7 to 10 days that yes you are selected and this is for um, ninja okay so this is for tcs ninja for which we are going to get 3.36 lpa 3.36 lakh per annum okay so that is going to be the package but if you uh, performed well then you will get a chance to sit for tcs digital okay and the package is 7.76 so make sure you do best you do uh, or you at least try to do your best okay so yes because you may get directly a chance to get 7.6 and it's the 7.6 lpa and it's like a very good it's like a decent package for starting a career isn't it so yes that's why i said don't focus on ninja focus on digital okay and one more thing guys which i thought uh, uh, i think i forgot okay so yes uh, one more thing guys questions are uh, i'm not saying that questions are uh, like coding question i'm talking about so i'm not saying that co coding questions are going to be very difficult but yes problem statement is going to be confusing okay it may be possible that Uh, like uh, length of your problem is something like this and you have to just find hcf of two numbers it may be possible question is very simple very simple but the problem statement is confusing and that confuse you so this is the case this may be possible so make sure you practice on uh, like geeks for geeks uh, code forces lead code um, code chef hacker rank hacker earth or any or any um, website of competitive coding of course so please make sure you are very good at competitive uh, programming if you are like very comfortable with these kind of confusing question then you can easily you can easily get qualified yeah yes you can easily get qualified and you know what you have to do if you uh, like get the offer you have to tell me in comment section that's it okay and if you have watched this video till here then you must be liking it so like and if you are new to my channel subscribe of course if you haven't subscribed yet and if you have subscribed then you can only like and share with your friends okay so that's it for today guys i hope you all like this video so stay healthy stay fit love you all this is ashwara signing off bye bye